Oh, there's a doll. Now we get to the burn it. Oh. Oh, that's what that is. Um. <gasps> All right, hopefully you guys are in today for a little Japanese folklore mood because we are checking out a little banger by the name of Yu Oni. As I understand, this one's all about a folklore of a child stuck in a hospital. At least the spirit of this child stuck in the hospital. And this folklore goes that if you go to this place and you win a particular trial, you get any wish you want. However, there's got to be a downside, right? If you lose, well, let's just say it's not that good. Have you ever heard of Zun? He was a kid in town who got sick pretty bad. He wound up in a hospital. His friends all promised they'd come and visit. So Zun waited and waited. They never showed up. You know that abandoned hospital on the outskirts of town? That's where he died. They say that's where he's still waiting there now. It's an easy game to play. First, you find a bucket of water and a doll. Second, you hide the doll somewhere. Third, go and hide. Count to ten. Then go back, find the doll, and dunk it into the bucket of water. But don't let anybody see you doing it, not a soul. Get it right, and soon will appear. He'll ask you to play you on it. And if you lose the game, you'll lose your mind and be stuck playing with Zune forever. Mikio pokes his head out of the hospital window and calls down to us. If you guys leave me up here, I'm not going to let you get away with it. I heard some middle schoolers went missing here, but I didn't realize it was Zune's hospital, says Sai, bounding through the window. Well, I heard that when people come here, they can totally hear things, like the sound of a baby crying in the toilet, and if you look in the windows, you can see these shadowy figures, all lined up, and, and a person falling down from the rooftop, and they're trying to fall down, aiming for anyone who's walking down on the ground to squash them. Isn't that messed up? That's Hiromu. He never shuts up. Yukina turns to me, her brow furrowed. I? Are you sure you're going to be able to reach up there? She's so short that she has no chance of making it through the window by herself. I'm pretty clumsy at the best of times, so I don't rate my chances of making it. Ah, Yukina, we can use this. It's June. He drags over some rusty old scaffolding and then deftly hops onto the hospital. You go first, I, says Yukina as she nudges my back. I turn to look and see her fiddling with her favorite hair clip. You don't have a skirt on. I do. Fine. I take a deep breath, then clamber on top of the scaffolding and peek inside. We're at the end of the dimly lit corridor. The floor is littered with shards of glass from shattered windows and broken tube lighting. The walls have crumbled, leaving piles of rubble every few yards. The sun is setting. The crimson light streams in through the doorways, hitting the scattered hospital beds. The whole ward is engulfed with an eerie glow. What's the matter? asked Yukina, jilting me up out of my line of thought. It feels like someone was waiting for us to show up. Okay. And here's apparently our bucket, huh? I'll just get this over with fast. Okay, so we got our bucket. I guess we gotta go out there and find the doll now. Shift to run. This is what I saw about the trailers of this game, like the art style. Just this very creepy red loomy crimson look to it. Kind of adds to the entire atmosphere. So this is your basic first-person controls here, apparently. And this will be to regain our breath. This is going to be one of those things where apparently ghosts uh, can sense your breathing. So it's kind of very similar to... I mean, it's a, it's a very popular part of folklore, right? But at least my first cod of it ever was like a deadly premonition. We got to hide around the ghost by holding your breath. So right now it's a matter of finding the doll, nothing in there. I'm seeing closets, so more than likely we'll also have that hiding feature. Not exactly the biggest fan of it, but it depends on how the game kind of, uh, undertakes. I think there's her doll right there. A weird aura around it as well.
Now all I need to do is soak the stone in the bucket, and it'll be over. What, what, what? D uh, don't tell me about deep breaths right now. <laughs> I'm about to have a deep breath. The hell is that? That far right there in front of the... I guess this fell. From where, though? Doesn't seem like that was attached up there. Or whatever. Uh, yes. Dunk it. Obviously nothing bad can come from this. I finish my monitor with duties and head back to the classroom. It's totally empty. What a relief. In the end, Sin didn't appear for any of us yesterday. Guess it was a, year, a rumor, they grumbled. Mikio looked like he took it personally, though. He said he wanted to go back and try again. Just hearing that put me on edge. I'm gonna go home. Hey, I. Have you seen Hiromo anywhere? Says Yukina, bounding up to me. Not since lessons ended, I shake my head. Yukina puts a finger to her lips and cocks her head back on one side, thinking. I try to shuffle past her, but she grabs my hand and starts pulling me along with behind her. Let's go and look for him, then. Yukina smiles. Once we've found him, let's go over to s get some candy from Granny Miyagawa's. Huh? That shop shut down a while ago. And Yukina was pretty upset about it, too. She can't have forgotten. Oh, wait. It closed down, she says unconvincingly. Her tone gave it away. She was just trying to get me to say something. She's always trying. I guess that's something. I trail behind her. Do the others actually like playing with me? Or am I just dead weight to them? Do they just like roping me in because I can't tell what I'm thinking? Because I can't say no? Just then I hear a voice, and the room lights up. <laughs> My high-pitched shriek cuts through the air like a knife. Ha! Ah, what a scream! I see a skinny boy, a boy with no eyes and no mouth, only three gaping black voids where his features should be. He's around four feet tall, with tattered clothes hanging from his skinny frame. He puts his gaunt, bony hands on his knees and peers up at me. One of the holes in his face twitches. I think it's a smile. Play with me, Missy. Let's play Yoni. Yoni? But that just, that must mean... Sure does, says Soon, his black mouth convulsing as he laughs with joy. But I didn't say anything out loud. How did he... The rules are, if you find one of the dolls you all hated before and burn it, you win. But don't let the shadow people see you. They're dangerous. Did you know that? Okay, so now we're in here for reals now, huh? Back here. Guess we'll check out. No, we're not going to check out that room. We're going to actually go down this hallway instead, because that's what I wanted to do from the start. <laughs> Gee. All right. Look, we're fine. We're absolutely fine. Something to worry about? Want well, your closets to hide in? Good. Hold our breath. Everything's good. It's a shiny here. Oh, got the school key. Uh. Guess we use it here. At least the lights are on, so there is that. Get hide through there. Are we reading any of these uh, diaries here? Give us some information. No. Oh, but you know what? You probably lead around that blockade right there, right? Yeah. Okay. All right, I think we got our first shadow person. So let's uh, hold our breath. I guess I could crouch as well, but. All right, disappeared. I'll take it. Oh, this place is even worse. <laughs> How did we have such a big change of scenery? I do like that you can actually act, like pop the doors open and just peek. Don't have to go through them. I think Outlast does that too, right? All right, so we're saving here at least, so... Oop. Because they can't see, shadow people have sensitive hearing instead. You can evade them by holding your breath. Okay. <sighs> You're telling me this one over here? Oh, yeah. I'm curious if there's something like behind them. Or behind it. But you know what? I ain't about to find out. Soon can't see very well, but his hearing is superb. If you don't hold your breath and hide, he'll find you to flash. So for soon, we definitely do have to hide, huh? Oh, there he is. 
All right, buddy. What's the radius that we're dealing with here? Is what I need to figure out. We have a locker here to hide. Ooh, another key. He went inside of that. Does this mean we should take advantage of this? Go through here. I'm not sure if this key opened that, but whatever, we get a key. Although it said hospital key, but I guess theoretically we are in a hospital, considering that's where soon passed away. What the hell is that? I guess we're good right now. Why is that shiny? Oh, that's glass. Oh. <laughs> oh no, no, I'm not stepping on that. I think we all know what happens if I step on glass suddenly, huh? So, let me guess. Um, I mean, we kind of know that apparently Soon was bullied and stuff. It's going to be one of those situations when you have like one of those grudge spirits that... Here's the thing I don't like about these grudge spirits. All of them seem to want to take it out on random people that had nothing to do with their misery. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, it's always somebody moves into a house where bad things happen to somebody and they want to take it out on you. It's like, well, what did you do? You did nothing to them. It always seems to be the big premise behind a lot of these, um, you know, Japanese folklore films and movies. Alright. Let's try over here. There's definitely a shadow right there. Pop it a little bit open. I mean, these aren't too bad because apparently it's just holding your breaths enough where you can walk by. It's soon the one that we have to really worry about. What is he, high stepping? That's kind of creepy. Okay. I guess the other thing we got, that's... Don't, don't high step that way, it's fairly creepy. I guess the other thing we have to keep in mind is if there's any of like shinies around for us to pick up like keys and whatnot. Ooh, ooh, that's risky. You know what? Let's have you... Oh god, it's swinging its arms around now. It's actually very unnerving. Should we crouch too? You know what? Let's crouch as well. It's a lot of red over there, which makes me feel like it might be our boy Zune. Or maybe it's just the crimson light coming in through the windows. While they have keen eyesight, they don't respond to noise, except for high-pitched sound of glass break. Okay, so these are different. Is it just me, or do like, the tip of their fingers have like big giant bulbs? That's scary. Okay, come on, come on, come on. So are those bulbs at the end of the fingers that I pointed out eyeballs? It seems like he's covered in eyeballs. No glass, no glass, no glass. Well, this is a different location now. Oh, there he is. Hide here. Is it gonna come through there? I hope not. Oh, here we go. I see dolls. I'm not sure this is not, it's not any of the ones that we hit ourselves. <laughs> I wonder where she is. I mean, I'd appreciate it if you actually just stopped looking for me. Oop, 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 I don't like the sound of that. Okay. Back in apparently classrooms. There's one over there wandering about. 
I just barely saw it as I started walking through. Ooh, there's a shiny over there. We need to get there. I think. Yes. Okay, okay. Oh, we have to get it from the other side. Oh! Was it just scary? Oh! Oh! Stop it! Oh god. Oh jeez! Why is it happening now? Let me out! Let me out, dude! Let me out! I, need to, I just need to just chill. Come in here. Okay. <laughs> I guess you've been building up for this, haven't you, game? Okay, okay, chill, chill. Okay, we got it. Stop it, Grandpa. Okay. I see a lot of broken glass here. I see over there as well. Crouching. I don't know what that scream was. It sounded like it was just running towards me, though, so I need to get out of there. Okay. Through that... here. <laughs> it's kind of amping it up quite a bit, huh? Oh, there's a doll. Now we get to the burn it. I wish he'd hurry up and die. He stinks, he's a mess, and he acts all high and mighty, but he's helpless, worthless, useless. Everyone says he's gonna die soon. Fat chance, they're all liars. At the start, mom and dad said I wouldn't even have to deal with him. I'm the one who's suffering. Look at me. I'm behaving. I'm good. Praise me. What is this? It's like there's a voice inside of my head. It's scary. It sounds as if they're angry with me. At any rate, I need to burn the doll. <gasps> Hurry back to the first room to avoid getting caught by the monsters. Make sure you hide along the way. What is this thing? Oh. Oh, that's what that is. Um. <gasps> Grandpa, please. It said hide along the way? I'm not sure if we're hiding along the way, man. Oh, no. Okay, so don't step on those red things, gotcha. Okay, okay, we gotta... Just gotta track myself back. I've lost track of where I'm going. I think it's through there. Can't apparently run anymore either. I'm not gonna look back. I'm not gonna look back. I'm not looking back. Don't. Oh, I'm out of stamina. Oh, please. Stamina. Uh, I think it's through here. Is pissed. Okay. I think we ran through here. <gasps> What's happening? We get stuck in nothing, man. What? Oh, God. You know what? We ain't got time for this. I, I don't know where I'm going to next. 
Oh, it's through here. It's through here. Okay. I feel like we're very close. Uh, then, yeah, yeah, we went through here. And this was the room. This is where we saw soon the first time. I'm gonna have to get some stamina here pretty soon. Okay, stop right there. <laughs> oh, oh, don't! Don't do it. I'm so close. Oh my. Don't do it! Oh, stop it. Remove those things from me. Yeah, uh, we're almost there. <gasps> Stamina. This is the first room. Oh, dunk it. Yes, burn it. I've burned it. Hopefully I can go home now. <laughs> yeah. Me and you both. It's Saturday. Throughout the three hours of classes we have that morning, kids are called to the staff room one by one. I wonder what for. When it's finally time to head home, the teacher calls me to my to the staff room. My turn. I feel nervous. The teacher speaks quietly. I have to turn my head to him. It's about Hiromu. Did you see him on the way home yesterday? There's an open window. I can hear Mikio playing dodgeball outside like it's a normal day. Did something happen to Hiromu? Are they waiting for you to come out and play? Asked the teacher. You must have seen my eyes were wandering. Sorry to keep you. Please ask Mikio inside to come see me next. You're friends, aren't you? The corridor is gone. The school is gone. I looked down at my feet. The tatami mat. The light from the sun set flooding in. A burning brazier. This is where I met Soon.